Next tonight, two hospital trusts are being sued by relatives of a woman who died after contracting the hospital bug C. difficile. She could have been treated when she showed early symptoms, but it was more than a fortnight before she was tested for it. And by that time, it was too late. Her family say she'd still be alive today if she'd been given the right drugs. Mark Goff reports. Winifred Dalton was 69. She went into the Walsgrave Hospital in Coventry with a urinary tract infection. She died six weeks later after staff didn't test her for the hospital bug C. difficile, even though she had the signs. Her family say staff there and at the Caledon Psychiatric Unit, where she was also treated, made terrible errors, and an inquest jury ruled that neglect had been a factor in Mrs. Dalton's death. So what went wrong? C. diff is a bacteria which lives in the lower a bowel. In healthy people it's not a problem, but for those who are ill or on antibiotics it can multiply and attack the intestines. When Winifred was admitted with her urinary tract infection in November 2005, she was given two antibiotics, known as broad-spectrum antibiotics. These attack several conditions. But this was against hospital guidelines. She should have been given what are known as narrow-spectrum antibiotics, which attack just a single disease. She developed diarrhoea, a sign that C. diff might have taken hold, but no samples were taken for a week. During this time, she was transferred to the Caledon Centre. When her results did come back, they didn't give her the drugs for another five days, more than two weeks after she got diarrhoea. She died later of blood poisoning brought on by C. diff. It's been a terrible experience for her husband, Walter. The horrific things that happened, I'll never forget them, ever. It'll always be in my mind, you know, I just can't... Seeing her in the hospital when there's no nurses available to give me help and trying to clean her up. And it was, it was heartbreaking to see her. You know, your wife for 47 years, actually wipe, wiping her to get her clean. She hadn't got a drink. She hadn't had a medication. It was one mistake after another. The trust which runs the Caledon Centre have admitted there were shortcomings in her care and have apologised to the family. A statement from the Walsgrave, now the University Hospitals of Coventry in Warwickshire, said some elderly patients do get C. difficile and in Mrs Dalton's case the symptoms weren't evident before she was transferred to the Caledon unit. Mark Goff in Coventry for Central Tonight. Well, joining us now from London is Vanessa Bourne from the Patients Association. Vanessa, millions are being spent to try to wipe out so-called hospital superbugs, but we still hear stories like that one. Why? Well, millions are being wasted. That's the other problem with this. Uh, millions of pounds are being spent, but they're not spent by everybody in the right way. So millions of other pounds are being wasted. And at a time when patients are being asked to spend more on their NHS than ever before, they're getting a more dangerous service than ever before. There are stories in the news all the time about MRSA and C. difficile, but just how common are these bugs? Well, many of us carry the MRSA bug around on our skins, which is why testing before people go into hospital is so important. And it's why everybody needs to take it so seriously, because it's there and it's, it's going to get worse. Uh, and the other bug, C. difficile, is, is now endemic. Uh, in 10 years, this has gone from something that happened occasionally to something that frightens every patient going into hospital. Yes, I mean, and this is the alarming thing. A report today from the Health Care Commission says a quarter of health organisations don't meet basic hygiene standards. Is it really that difficult for them to do so? You wouldn't think so, would you? If this was a supermarket chain or a hotel chain, heads would have rolled by now and things would be improving. The problem is that other targets have been put in place, so this target has been allowed to slip down the, the list of targets, and you have a lot of people being paid a lot of public money who do not regard this as their top priority. But patients do, and it's time that the, the service did itself. Vanessa Bourne, thank you.